chiropractic family. This is Charles Manuel from Mountain Man Digital. And today I'm going to cover some tips and strategies that you guys can use so that social media does not drive you crazy. Stick around. Okay, so I know for a lot of chiropractors, the idea of layering in just another thing to do for your business can be really overwhelming. It can be daunting because, you know, everybody says it's just an hour here and a few minutes there and it's only going to take a little bit of time and it adds up and this and that. But that doesn't change the fact that you have to do it. It doesn't change the fact that you need to make this stuff every single day. And that can be a lot of work for somebody. So you're probably thinking to yourself, man, I don't want to dive in and start making videos and creating content to help educate people on chiropractic. I can't afford to hire someone to do all that stuff for me. What do I do? That's what I'm going to cover today. I'm going to cover mental tricks, workflow tricks, and just some simple ideas for creating content simply and easily that still adds a lot of value to possible new patients so that you guys don't go crazy. And so making content actually becomes integral to a part of your business and also becomes a little bit fun. Okay? So the number one thing that you can do is block off time. Okay? And I know. My handwriting's terrible. But more importantly, you're probably thinking to yourself, Charlie, you just said you aren't going to do anything like that. Well, unfortunately, there's no way around it, okay? Social media marketing takes time. And if you want to actually get results, you got to spend some time on it. You have to, okay? There's no way around it. You need to spend a little bit of time actually creating content and disseminating it to your target market. If you don't want to do that, put an ad in the newspaper and see what happens. Okay? Now, this doesn't mean that you have to be like, every single day at 10 a.m. I'm going to do something. You don't have to do that. Like, especially if you're a very busy chiropractor, you probably don't have time to do something like this every day. Okay? And this is where the idea of batching is going to come together. Okay, and I'm going to put this in parentheses down here. Written so nicely that you probably can't read it. Let's try and make that B a little more B-like. Okay. Oh, oh God, my wife's going to kill me. Okay, so batching. So what we're going to do with that is, let's say that you want to put out a piece of video content five days a week. Okay. You want to put out something Monday through Friday about your practice, how you help people, examples of ways you've helped, different health benefits of chiropractic, different modalities that you'd use, etc., etc. Okay? If you want to do that, let's batch it together. Okay? So maybe on Saturday morning, you go into the office an hour early, and you sit down, and you make, well, let's say two hours early, and you make 10 10 minute videos, okay? So that'll take two hours, about 120 minutes would be my guess, with breaks in between and stuff like that. Some will be longer, some will be shorter. So maybe two, two and a half hours, okay? 10 videos, <laughs> 10 videos? That is going to be two weeks of content, okay? You're done. And you're probably thinking, but Charlie, then I have to upload them and I have to time them out. So there's two different solutions to that. One, let's actually put a number two. One of them is buffer. Buffer.com. Okay, buffer.com will allow you to upload all 10 of those videos and queue them so that on Monday one video will post on your Facebook page. On Tuesday one video will post, on Wednesday, blah, 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 right down the line, right? 
we'll skip weekends just for the sake of it. Now, if you do that, you're done. Buffer costs money. I think it's a hundred dollars a year for what you guys would use it for. And this isn't the only thing you can do though. If you're posting these videos to your Facebook business page, which can be a good tactic for some people, Facebook itself allows you to do this same thing. Okay? YouTube allows you to do this same thing. Vimeo allows you to do this same thing. Okay? So this will allow you to take all of this crazy work that when you imagine it, and you imagine the amount of content you have to create, the time you have to spend on the platforms, the time you have to spend to make sure they're uploaded and everything else, and it automates 80% of that, gets rid of it. And this is probably your best solution, because you don't just have to do one platform. This will upload it to multiple platforms at once, and it'll save you a ton of time, okay? So this would be my primary solution. Batch your time, block off that time, plan and make your content during that time, and then just set it up for upload. And everything else, just let it ride. Just don't worry about it, okay? So those are probably my two biggest tricks, okay? Now I'm gonna erase this. Got it. Number three, I remembered. Don't consume content. I can't say this enough. Don't consume content. Don't consume content. And don't consume content. Except my content. Okay? Okay? Alright. Anyway. So, no, really, but... If you're uploading videos, let's say that you do some batching, but you still spend some time on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, playing around, posting up other stuff, a few pictures here and there, a little bit of a text post, this and that, right? Try and not spend time on those platforms consuming content. And here's a few tricks for that, okay? Turn notifications off. This is really big, okay? Go into your phone settings and shut off notifications for Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Shut them off, okay? The YouTubers will forgive you for not pushing the bell icon. I promise, okay? You've got to turn the notifications off because your smartphone, it sits in your pocket all day. It's there, and if you're starting to integrate into the social media world, you just installed Facebook, Instagram, you had just installed all these apps on your phone, you're going to get overwhelmed by the number of notifications you get. It's going to drive you insane. So, one of the biggest things you can do to minimize the amount of craziness that you feel from just starting to get into social media and utilizing it is to shut off notifications. Okay? Shut them off completely. Because... In the heyday of social media for smartphones, notifications were actually useful. Your best friend made a post, and you're like, oh, my best friend made a post. I'm interested in what they're saying, and I will engage with it, okay? And so that's how it worked. But nowadays, the whole point of notifications is to get you back onto the platform so that you consume more content, okay? And what happens when you consume content? You waste more time. What happens when you waste more time as an entrepreneur or a physician who's trying to get work done, trying to get adjustments in, okay? You're going to go crazy because you're spending too much time fuddling around with stuff that doesn't get new patients in the door, all right? Now, if you want to consume content, as we all do, I'm a big fan of YouTube, I scroll through Facebook three or four times a day and just look at what's happening. You still can. You still, of course you can, right? But it's important to not get stuck in the trap of just sitting on your phone all day, scrolling through, checking what other people are doing, 
worrying about what other content people are putting out, checking what other docs are making for content, etc., etc. You can batch that as well, okay? If you aren't super integrated into social and you're just doing this for the sake of marketing, then don't even install the apps on your phone or disable them, okay? You can go into the settings and even disable the apps if you aren't using them as like a communication device for new patients. Go in and just straight up disable the apps and then on a weekend or something, right? Check your 30 notifications on Facebook. Check your 70 notifications on Instagram, right? Spend the hour and do that. And um, for those of you who are a little bit more in the game and a little bit more integrated into social, give this a try too. Give it a feel and see how much time you save and how much more productive you are. And also, you'll notice if you aren't spending time consuming content, your motivation to create content will go way up, okay? So this is a huge tip, okay? So the ways to actually do this, turn notifications off, um, have times where you disable the apps, okay? That's really big too. And also be sure to, um, be sure to spend time thinking about other content to create as opposed to doing this. A good way to think about it is like a common financial strategy for folks who are just learning how to save money, right? Is you go to a store and you see a $10 item and you almost buy it, right? And you go, nah, I'm not gonna buy that. And you put it back on the shelf. A good mental trick is to take the $10 that you would have spent and move it to your savings as if you bought it. And then you get kind of that same endorphin hit as if you purchased it, okay? Um, classic financial saving strategy. It's really cool too if you guys haven't tried it. Now, you can do something kind of similar with content consumption, but your currency is time, right? So if you, if you catch yourself hopping on Facebook, hopping on YouTube, hopping on Instagram to just look at stuff that you don't really care about, stop yourself and go, huh, so I have 20 free minutes right now. Why don't I make a quick Facebook Live video instead? Why don't I make a quick value-added blog post instead? Why don't I go ahead and put up a quick picture on Instagram? Things like that. Because putting content out is always more useful than consuming more content. Okay? Number four, don't check stats. Seriously, don't worry about how many views you're getting, how many likes, how much engagement, nothing. At least for the first 30 days, don't worry about it, okay? It's going to take a while for all of the algorithms to catch up to the stuff that you're making and to put it in front of the people who care about it. If you're brand new, okay, don't check stats. Okay, if you're not brand new and this is driving you crazy, don't check stats. Take a break from it. Pull away from it. Disengage. Stop worrying about your numbers and worry more about making good content for your audience that they're actually going to care about. Okay, that's what you need to focus on. Because, like with me, I've had this happen before where I'll just be looking at a video and I'll be like, I thought that was really good. Only 45 people have watched it. I don't know what's going on. This is no fun. Blah, blah, blah. And you get into your own head. When it's like, eh, who cares, right? How long did that take you to make? 30 minutes? Let's move on to the next piece of content you can make that's actually interesting and helpful for folks. Okay? So don't check your stats so much. Okay? Instead of checking stats, make content. You're, you're probably catching on to a little theme I have here, right? The only way that you're going to actually succeed if you want to use social media as a marketing platform and as an organic marketing platform for your practice is if you make content, okay? And the content has to be interesting, engaging, and helpful. Has to be. If it's not, no one's going to watch it, no one's going to care. So, once again though, don't check stats, okay? Just ask yourself, is this interesting, engaging, and helpful? Yes, no? And if it's not, or if it's not one of those things, how can you make it that thing? That's very important.
Thanks a lot for watching my video, guys. I'd really appreciate it if you could like, share, comment, or subscribe. Maybe all four, perhaps three, perhaps two. I don't know. Live your life. But anyway, thanks a lot for uh, tuning in. I hope that these tips are pretty helpful for you guys. If you have any other ideas for videos you'd like to see me make, put them in the comments below. Press the like button. It's like there, right? Uh, subscribe, which is like there. And uh, I'll talk to you next time.